It's a special time, a time to celebrate, but also a little bit sad as the ATP World Tour says goodbye to a very special person, Eric Buderak. Eric, congratulations on an incredible career. You achieved a career high ranking at number 17. You won 18 career titles, finals of the Australian Open, and probably your contributions off the court were even more impressive. The president of the Player Council, you were on the council for so long. So when you look back at your long career, what are some of the memories that stick out? Um, you know, on the court, like you said, making the finals of a Grand Slam is something that doesn't come around very often. For me, it only came along once. Off the court was really where I had some of my best experiences. Um, being part of the Player Council, being voted in by my peers to, to be their voice and to represent them for so long was something that I really took on as a badge of honor um, and felt like it really dwarfed anything that I could do on the court. And to be part of the ATP organization was something that I didn't know a lot about when I started and grew to be a really important part of my life, some of my very uh, best friends, and um, really helped me have sort of a, like a fulfilling experience both on the court and off the court. Now, you have an incredible story. I mean, a Division Three national champion. Not a lot of people expected you to achieve what you did at the highest level of men's tennis. Did you believe it? And what was the journey like from junior tennis, Division Three college tennis, to, as you said, inches away from being a major champion? No, I didn't expect it. Uh, I didn't even plan to turn pro until very late in my senior year. Um, a lot of that had to do with my college coach, kind of keeping it really simple. Just when you go out on tour trying to become the best tennis player you can be and focus on a simple goal like that. It came from family and friends who were supportive every step of the way. And when I thought that I wasn't being that successful, they always assured me that I was. Um, yeah, and it grew into a career that nah, I never even really dreamed was possible until I started walking out of the courts. So I think maybe I appreciate it a little more than some of the guys who were you know, expected to be here or, or however you frame it. What was it like finishing up here with your children here? Wife Maggie has been so supportive as have your parents. I mean, great, right? As an American to finish at the US Open, it's perfect. It's great. I don't know that my son will actually remember um, any of my matches, but you know, to have him here at the last couple of years at all the major events has been really awesome. Um, and have him kind of understand to some degree what I did. Um, yeah, but I had, the, I had the perfect family life. I mean, I had support, I had um, great people around me, and now I look forward to, to being a more regular dad and being around them every day. You have a really exciting new opportunity awaiting you now with the USTA. Why was that the right fit for you next? I love tennis, and I love our, our US tennis. So what better than to get involved with our biggest showcase of the sport? The sport gave me so much, so I'd love to spend this next part of my career kind of making it better. Well, thank you for everything you've done for your sport. Good luck in uh, your next challenge, but uh, stay close to us. We need you close to the sport. We need you close to the ATU World Tour. Thank you, Justin.